Hi, I'm Larry Berman and welcome to my weekly market update and outlook. Heading to the end of the month, there's been big talk of the fiscal cliff where all these support programs in the US are expiring and negotiations this week uh, between Pelosi and McConnell, all kinds of market impacts and noise. But essentially, we're gonna get another big stimulus package uh, in support of states and, and individuals who are, are you know, somewhat temporary, but perhaps permanently laid off. It's gonna be in the one to two trillion range. Trump did not get his payroll tax cut that he hoped for. Mnuchin let us know a couple days ago, but he is looking a lot more presidential than uh, in past periods where he's done these updates on the coronavirus. So let's see if he stays that way. I think he needs to get a lot more presidential. With that in mind, we saw a survey uh, done by University of Quinnipiac, which is a very, very highly regarded uh, institution in terms of surveying. And out of Florida, what they found was 51% support for Biden, 38% for Trump. The market has generally looked through and said, doesn't matter that Biden's ahead by 10% in the polls, you know, nationally, because he's ahead by 25% in California and New York, and that's a massive size and it distorts the national numbers. Very true. In the 40 states there's, that, that um, are traditional blue and red states, those aren't going to change. It almost doesn't matter what any of the candidates say. But in the dozen or so swing states, of Florida is one of them, it matters immensely. Mathematically, if Trump loses Florida and one other of the swing states that he carried last time, he cannot win. We also heard, found out last week that the efficacy of antibodies uh, lose their potency within about three months. So a limited study of people who contracted coronavirus over the last number of months, they've been following these people, measuring the level of antibodies, and they're falling rapidly. So that's a big issue too. And, and many of the people, uh, the epidemiologists, not the ones that are politically backed or motivated, but the independent ones, have come out and said they really don't see until the end of 2021 at the earliest um, that we're going to have something that might be able to be used on a broad spectrum basis that's, that's safe. And so we have some challenges in that regard too. Our bear pick of the week is to be short retail stocks in the US. The XRT, the retail ETF, has actually rallied to a higher high than what we saw in January and February. And if we're going to get this second wave in the fall, and there's going to be uncertainty around the US election, retail stocks are likely going to be hit the hardest. So XRT is the short of the week. On, on the long side, for Canadians specifically, a long position in short-term US corporate bonds. One. Big support from the US government on corporate debt, especially investment grade, and two, a play on the US dollar. The Canadian dollar is strengthened here, and we don't think that will sustain through the US election. Thanks for watching. Remember, subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the button below, follow the alerts so you know when our latest updates are out. Have a great week, everybody.